Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today is the first video of January. Well, not really, I put a review out, but in the month of January I like to make videos that are thinking about the future and also sort of reflecting on the past. So in this month, hopefully I will get out a few videos like top 10 figures of 2021. I won't get to the Nendoroids though because I haven't reviewed all the Nendoroids of 2021 so I can't give out a top 10 yet but this video specifically is going to be my top 10 most anticipated figures of 2022 and that's a crazy thing to say because i didn't think this year would even come so hopefully this video is quick fun you get a little idea as to what i'm excited for and yeah you can share in the comments what your most anticipated figure is or give me a list give me your top five give me your top 10 comment and paste all your pre-orders go for it but this is my top 10 most anticipated action figures of 2022 and starting with the honorable mention and it's going to be the mezco 89 batman this figure was supposed to come out a long time ago and it's just been pushed back and delayed every single month we keep getting pushed back three months and then four months and then just one more month it's crazy it's hard being a mezco fan so hopefully fingers crossed this comes out this year i am very excited for it but also at this point i'm not the hype has died down i'd rather pay the extra money and just get a hot toys at this point which hot toys 2022 we'll get to it but not in this video anyway honorable mention looks cool i'm kind of excited but a lot of my hype has died down because of mezco's lack of communication Coming in at number 10, and it's 3-0's MDLX line, which specifically focuses on Transformers figures at a cheaper price with just as good of quality and just as good of articulation and accessories, and the Bumblebee figure is what I'm really excited for in 2022. And I think it's already come out, but by the time I get it, it'll be 2022, and I think I'm just going to count it being a 2022 figure at this point. But super excited for this line it is the perfect blend of g1 and realism and that's just something all transformers fans sort of appreciate i think sure the bayverse films did their interpretation of it and even the bumblebee films did their interpretation but to me this is the perfect bumblebee so i'm really looking forward to this the prime still on the fence i'm gonna get the b first and see how it feels but really looking forward to this beautiful beautiful figure by 30 also making a sub line mdlx with way cheaper prices for collectors that still want high quality figures super smart choice more people should go about that coming in at number nine and it's the only sh figure arts i have pre-ordered for 2022 and it's the shf deadpool from the movie deadpool starring ryan reynolds and it's interesting that this is my only SHF pre-ordered. I guess that the Marvel stuff hasn't really spoken to me. I'm not a Dragon Ball collector. They don't do DC at all. So yeah, Deadpool's a cool character and I really like Ryan Reynolds' performance of that character. So we'll see. It's kind of low on the list because it's not a uh, top priority, but I am I'm excited for it. Will it come with weapons? Who knows? Marvel DC are doing some weird things with their weapons as of late but now I already have the Marvel Legends Deadpool and I will be doing a video on comparing both of them because it might not even be worth it and I might just have to sell the SHF so I'm also kind of curious about that Marvel Legends is at a point now where they just do things better than SHF um, same with the Black Series Star Wars stuff so very interesting but not my highest priority Coming in at number 8, and it's Felix Toys in general. I have two figures that I am super, super excited for. One of them might not come out this year, but I did pre-order it last year in 2021, so hopefully it does. And that's going to be their Joker figure, specifically the Dark Knight Heath Ledger Joker figure, and their Rorschach from Zack Snyder's Watchmen. These two figures, these cloth good figures, look absolutely stunning, and I already have the Felix Toys Joker from Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, and it was amazing. So I'm expecting that sort of quality, and I think it's going to be something really special. And again, with comparison videos, I have the Medicom Moffex Joker from The Dark Knight Rises, 
compared to this, compared to the cloth goods and the movie realism, we'll just have to wait and see. But it's definitely something I'm looking forward to in 2022. Also, that Rorschach, we've waited too long for Watchmen figures of that caliber. I'm, I don't know why no one else has jumped on it, but all those characters are great. I need all the Watchmen at this point. Coming in at number 7, and it's Noda Studios Winter Soldier, or their Mass Killer, as they call it, because it's not an official Winter Soldier figure. Same goes for the Joker and Rorschach like before. These are third-party companies doing their thing, and the Winter Soldier figure just looks great. I don't have a Winter Soldier in my collection yet, my MCU collection, so looking forward to it. I already did a video on that, you can check that out. I'm not going to rehash all that I said before, but... It is very interesting to see these third-party companies do maybe a better job than these official companies. And sure, they can get around a few prices because of the way they're manufactured, where they're manufactured, and the lack of licensing fees, but as a consumer, it's good for me. So looking out for that one, and we're getting a little bit more, we're getting a little bit higher in my sort of excitement for these figures at this point. Coming in at number 6, and it's Mezco 112th Collective Marvel Figures. I don't know how many of these are actually going to come out this year, but I am excited for all of them. So I'm just going to list them real fast because I couldn't I couldn't decide which one figure I was the most excited for. So we got Mezco's Wolverine, which looks phenomenal, and I love that they're going super, super comic book accurate. Um, none of their weird Mezco texture lines, just the spandex suit with the colors, they're all right there, and also the accessories that that Wolverine comes with. Perfect. I think it blows the Moffex out of the water, but we'll do a comparison video when that time comes. Also something that may or may not come out this year is the Fantastic Four box set from Mezco. And I'm excited for that because I don't have a Fantastic Four in my collection at all. And again, the comic accuracy just draws me in those bright colors. They'll stand out on the shelf, even if they are only six inches. So really Wolverine, Fantastic Four, crazy hype. One last thing is their Ghost Rider figure, if that ever comes out. That's also been delayed a lot. So I didn't really say that as a solid choice because it could very well be delayed into 2023. We don't know. Coming in at number five, and it's the Stab of Hades Deathstroke figure. It's a third party figure once again. And I've done a video on this, so you can go check that out. It's gonna be, this is gonna be a quick little thing, but the look of the figure is stunning for its size, scale, and construction. So I am just really excited to get a movie-esque Deathstroke in my collection. I know it's from the video game, but it looks enough like that Justice League Deathstroke teased at the end of the 2017 version of Justice League. So that's what I'm going to call it. It's going to be fighting my Ben Affleck Batman. And I'm going to call it a day on that because I'm just excited to see those two figures stacked up next to each other. Coming in at number four, and we are in the top four figures that I'm super excited for. And this one might be a little obscure for you because I haven't talked about it on the channel. But... It is the Mega House 118th scale Gundam figures, specifically their Char Asnable figure. Gundam is something that kind of got me into the hobby scene in general, and I owe it a lot. A lot of my time in middle school was spent building Gumpla and finding space for them in my house wherever I could. I did fall out of it for a while, but it's still kind of there, and I still have the tools to make. Gumpla at any time, so it wasn't until this year that I started to rewatch Gundam 79, the original show, that these figures went up for pre order. And it was like a match made in heaven. Char Asnabel has just a, such a dope, iconic look, so I'm just really excited for those figures. Now, they are smaller, I don't have any 118th scale figures in my collection at all whatsoever, but I think it is so iconic looking, especially if I pose them next to a bigger Gundam that it's going to look fantastic. Coming in at number three, and this is again going to be very strange for you because you probably don't know that I love Speed Racer. It's the first anime I've ever seen. My father introduced it to me when I was a young boy. And these Auto World Speed Racer cars with, with the figures look amazing. Speed Racer and Racer X, um, 
I'm just so excited for the craftsmanship to this. These are works of art, in my opinion. We're getting to the point now where I'm willing to spend more money on things that I think really stand out and really hold a presence. And these 70s speed racer cars look fantastic to me. So, yes, I'm biased. It has a special place in my heart. But aside from that, they look great. So I'm also surprised by this. I didn't think I would be as excited for these, but they are definitely in my top three. Take that as you will. Coming in at number two is the amazing Yamaguchi Todoroki figure from the series My Hero Academia. And if you follow this channel at all, you probably knew this was going to be up there. Now, I've done a video on this, but amazing Yamaguchi and anime is a match made in heaven. I already consider their... Um, superhero figures being anime versions like this is anime Joker Jojo Joker as people have called them so to get Todoroki and potentially more students and more heroes from the my hero universe it's just something to look forward to so I hope hopefully Endeavor's pre-order goes up soon and hopefully we get more figures maybe some villains now we got Shigaraki from season 5 he's changed forms a little bit Hawks Maybe he's good, maybe he's bad, and definitely, definitely a female character. Let's get some female Amazing Yamaguchi characters in there. Really, really want Toga. Amazing Yamaguchi, hear me, Toga. Okay. And coming in at number one is Mezco 112th Collective's DC line in 2022. I already mentioned Batman 89, but who knows if that figure is going to come out. There are some comic book figures that I am really looking forward to, and starting it is Constantine, or Constantine. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to pronounce it. And Constantine is a character that is so underrated, and I think it's still underrated because he hasn't appeared in a film yet for the mass audience, but once he does, once he does show up, uh, I think it'll be a lot of people's favorite character. So... I also think that this Mezco looks great as well. All those accessories, the attention to detail, and over, just overall the look of the figure. It's not a typical superhero look. I'm really excited for it. Also, their Superman figure, which is kind of the opposite of Constantine, but still something I'm really hoping is great. All those accessories, once again, it's basically Superman to Wolverine in 2022 for Mezco. Like, they're going hard, and sure, the prices are higher, but I think it might be worth it. So, really, really hoping that Superman and Constantine are wonderful Mezco figures. And that's the end of the video, and you may notice that I didn't mention any Moffex figures. I do have Moffex figures pre-ordered for 2022, but I don't know how I feel about them, and that's really the question I want to pose to you today. Do you collect Moffex figures? Are you kind of getting out of the game, or are you just getting into it? Moffex figures have skyrocketed in price in the last couple months, and it's because of their comic book accuracy, specifically their comic book figures. I have a few of them, I do like them, but I don't know if I like them enough to be paying upwards of a hundred plus dollars. Now I get that I'm paying that kind of price for Mezco, but in my mind the craftsmanship with Mezco is just better and the quality control is way better. So Moffex has its downsides, I'm still thinking about it. If you really wanna know the figures I have pre-ordered are Moffex Captain America Endgame version, Moffex Harley Quinn, Moffex Iron Man, and Black Suit Spider-Man. Four figures, 2022, we'll see how they go. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you got a little insight as to what you'll see on this channel later this year. And please let me know in the comments below what your most anticipated figure of 2022 is. What do you have pre-ordered or what are you sort of waiting to see how others think of it to pre-order? I also do that all the time. I don't have a bunch of figures pre-ordered. Not all of the figures that I listed here are pre-orders. They're just things I'm going to keep my eye on in 2022. So thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more content in January of 2022. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.